one. Do you see this? I'm trying to film a video. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been kind of a long time since I filmed my first video. Um, I've just been really, really busy. And I wanna give you guys just sort of a little drugstore makeup and beauty review showcase kind of thing. I get a lot of my makeup from drugstores and I try a lot of different things because it's cheaper and a lot of it is comparable to more expensive makeup. And I will start with my absolutely most favorite drugstore item probably ever, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. These are amazing and I have tried a lot of foundations, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I finally tried these this L'Oreal True Match. I have different shades because I fake tan. My shade is always a little different. Sometimes I mix and match, sometimes, you know, I use just one. This one is the W5 Sand Beige, it's called. The nice thing about the L'Oreal products, they have seven or eight different shades of warm, neutral, and cool tones. I use the warm blend, so I have the sand beige and I have the nude beige. The nude, nude, bleh, bleh. <laughs> nude beige is a W3, and then the sand beige is a W5. The reason I love them, like I said, super blendable, lots of coverage, and it lasts all day. If anything you buy from the drugstore, these are amazing. I can almost guarantee that they'll have at least a really, really close match to your skin tone. Um, and if not, like I said, you can always mix and match it. I only mix and match it just because when I first put on my fake tan, I'm a lot darker, so I do the W5. You know, the days in between where my fan, fan tan is fading a little bit, I mix them. It's very liquidy, so you could use just a tiny, tiny bit and it wouldn't be that full coverage if that's not what you like, if you like the more natural look. So I really like that that's an option. Along with that, just so I get a good match, I use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick as well. Looks like, oops, it looks like this, so it's just a thicker pencil. This is W123. It's it's a fair light. I just went for the lighter one um, because I like my concealer obviously to be a little bit lighter. I use this one um, under my eyes and on, you know, dark spots. And then I use it a bit as a contour as well. So this is great just because it matches, you know, the concealer. They have three warm, three neutral, and three cool. So you can also find a really good match for you. Another really good drugstore foundation is the Revlon Colorstay. I have some of that. My only issue with it is they definitely do not have the range of colors that the L'Oreal has, and unfortunately they do not have one that really works for me. But it is really great coverage. It does stay on all day. Just for me, I, I don't want to have two different colors going on between my face and my neck. If you can find a good match for your skin, this is another really good one. If you're going for a little bit cheaper, the e.l.f. foundation, I actually really like. It does not have that as much coverage as the other two. It's called Flawless Finish Foundation, and this is a bit thicker. It is more of kind of a cream. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see on my hand, but it is a bit thicker. And that one is super duper light, that's funny. But it, it actually is good, I liked it. Um, it blended really well. It just didn't quite have the coverage or the stay that I like for my face all day. But I think this is $3 at Target or a drugstore or whatever. Um, and it's really not bad. Now I got these at Sally's Beauty. I don't know if we consider that a drugstore, but they were cheap, so I'm gonna go with yes. Um, these are both Femme Couture. Oh wait, no, this one's Femme Couture. Um, get covered maximum coverage concealer this is a really really thick concealer so this is like if you have a big spot or maybe if you're fixing you know around your eyebrows or something i mean you can see it's like a really thick this one is more of a cream stick this is called pal pala uh, paladio paladio herbal liquid concealer i don't know what herbal liquid concealer means but that caught my eye for some reason moving on to eye stuff these are the uh, Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascaras. It's supposed to be mascara with um, a grow lash complex. I don't know about that. I haven't really seen my lashes grow since I've used it, but it's a really good mascara. Um, so this one is just kind of the more basic. It's got kind of a 
soft brush there. It just goes on really well. It keeps the lashes really separate and really accelerates them a lot, which I love. This one is the kind of anti-clump one, so it has that thicker, like, plasticky brush. I typically don't like that, but I really like this one and it's actually really good for your bottom lashes because um, it keeps them really separate, it keeps from getting thick. It's kind of the same formula as this one. So I usually use a little combo of both of these every day and I absolutely love them. For my eyeliner, I've been using this for years and I love it. Um, it is the CoverGirl, what is it called? Brow and Eye Makers Pencil. It stays really thick and black, but it's not like super smudgy and it's something you can kind of blend out if you'd like or you can get that really thin precise line so this is a good one and again covergirl it's pretty cheap favorite brushes from the drugstore are these sonia i don't i think sonia kashuk kashuk i don't know how to say her last name they are great brushes they are a little bit more expensive for drugstore brushes but um not as expensive at expensive expensive as if you're getting them from you know, Sephora or like a department store or something. This is my kind of concealer brush. This is number four. Love this one. It's nice and fluffy. It really, really blends out my concealer and it's lasted really, really well. You know, it doesn't like fray. It doesn't get really clumpy even if I don't wash it, which is super nice. Um, and I also have, I think this is so cool. So this one, it's got kind of the kabuki on one side and then the kind of concealer blender on the other side. And this was, I think like 11 or $12, so it's still not even bad, and you're getting two brushes. And it's kind of a nice little travel one you can throw in your purse too. So I don't know what this one is called, but I mean, it'd be easy to find. Lips, lips, lips. I have a couple um, lip liners, kind of in different shades. These are all the ones that I have are CoverGirl. I apparently really like their pencils. Let's see, this one is kind of more of a like raspberry sort of color. It works well with all of the pinks that I have. This color is 230 Radiant. This one actually matches my lip color pretty well. So I, I've sometimes just used it and like filled in my lips a little bit just by itself alone. Um, this one is, you know, obviously a red. It is 215 Passion. So that's what it looks like. It's not a super fire red. It's more of like a like cherry berry red because um, that's the red lipstick that I have, which I'll just show you right now. It's um, the CoverGirl 305 Hot Passion. So I think they're probably kind of meant to go together because they're very similar. So that bottom line is the red. For all of my nudes um, or kind of lighter pinks, I have the 210 Seduce um, CoverGirl. And you can see that top line. It's very light, but it's still a bit pinky, which I really like because that's how most of my nude lipsticks are. And then this is the one nude lipstick that I have from hmm? Maybelline. Yeah, it's called Nude Lust 920. So as you can see, it's a really light nude color, but it's still got that pinky shade in it. And it's a bit more mauve than my lip liner. Um, this one I actually usually don't use with a lip liner anyways, so, but you can see it's that top, very top line right there. So my lips are super susceptible to getting really dry and like windburn, um, so I, it kind of stinks. I never have like super great lips, um, which are really like nice and soft, but they'll get really bad too. So I feel like at least keeping them a bit maintained is really nice. Favorite things, of course, in EOS, oh, sorry, it's dirty. It's always in my purse. This is the, I think it's cucumber melon or something, which oh, smells amazing. It's just, it's so fresh and like cucumber melon's like one of my favorite. I'm putting it on. Oh, it's so nice. They smell amazing and they're all like natural products, which I love, of course. Another good one, um, and I will swear by this probably for the rest of my life, is the Palmer's Cocoa Bottle. Bottle. What is with all these words today? Cocoa butter formula. Um, it does have SPF 15 in it. Um, and it smells, this one smells so good too. Oh my gosh, I think I might even like this better. It smells like vanilla cupcake. I love cocoa butter. I use it on my whole body. Um, I've used like stuff, stuff in my hair before. It's amazing. And I just found this in a lip balm and I'm like beyond excited. It's amazing. I get a lot of my hair products from the drugstore as well. One of my favorite brands as of recently, um, and you'll tell by the amount of things that I have from there, is the 
<laughs> not your mother's. Um, I originally bought it because I'm a huge sucker for cute packaging and like look how cute these are. So this one is a heat shield spray and it's just called Beat the Heat, nothing too creative. But um, I really like it and these smell really, really good. This one's got kind of a, I don't know, like hibiscus smell to it. Oh, it's sun, it's infused with sunflower, maybe that's it. I don't really know what sunflowers smell like, but um, apparently. Ingredients in here, probably not the best, but it's cheap. And I've been using this for a while and it's been pretty good in my hair. Only problem is it does cause some buildup, but you're gonna get that with almost any heat shield kind of thing. So I use this when my hair is damp and blow drying it. I use it on my ends and then if I'm styling my hair, I use it on the whole thing. The other products I have from there are the She's a Tease um, Volumizing Hairspray. I use this one not as if I'm styling it and I need it to stay in place, but if I have my hair down and straight and just parted, I kind of will flip it over, do a little spray, or maybe tease it a little bit and use a little spray. As far as hold goes, it's not very, very strong, but it's nice because it doesn't leave your hair feeling like crunchy and blech, whatever. And then the last one, I'm obsessed with this. This is one that I got recently. It's called Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It works so well. It's not a powder, which a lot of them are. I don't like that because it kind of gets like stuck on my scalp and it's just icky. Really? This one comes out kind of like a hairspray. Can you even see that? This one doesn't smell as good as the other ones, but it's really, really light, so it doesn't leave like a, st a stink in your hair all day. Um, I've had other ones that kind of smell like baby powder, and then I smell like a baby's butt all day, and that's, nobody wants that. So this is a great one, and it gives it a little volume too, which is nice again for my thin, thin hair. So Not Your Mother's is a great brand. It's really cheap, but if you're more product conscious about what is going on in your hair, I'm not sure if this is completely the most eco-friendly, I don't know. And last one is the Bedhead um, Ego Boost, another great product I like probably because of the packaging. This is a split end mender leave-in conditioner that I use um, when my hair is damp. I've seen it kind of mend some split ends for me. And again, drugstore product, not too expensive. So um, that is it for my little drugstore um, review. I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions or any great products yourself, I would love to hear about it and maybe give some a try. I'm always down to try new things or answer any questions. I just think drugstore products are great because they're, they're cheaper. Um, and even if it's not the best in the whole wide world, at least you didn't spend a lot of money on it and it didn't work for you because that's never fun. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, check out my Instagram, and have a really beautiful day. Bye. Oh, it just spilled everywhere.